Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a closet declutter. This is one of my favorite things to do to start off the new year fresh, clean, and organized. I already cleaned my house. Now it's time for me to organize my closet. So just like last time, I filmed my last declutter like seven months ago. I'm gonna do two piles on my bed. I'm gonna do a donate pile and I'm gonna do a sell pile. And to sell my clothes, I always use an app called Poshmark and they have actually collaborated with me in this video. So I've been using Poshmark for a very long time i used it in my last video and i have nothing but good things to say about them everything always just runs so smoothly you can either sell clothes if you want or you can buy clothes on there too they have so many different brands and they also have a lot of my favorite sustainable brands they have reformation so you can find pretty much anything that you're looking for i'll leave the link down in the description as well as my closet link so that you guys can download the app and check out my closet if you guys do download the app or if you already have your own closet on Poshmark you can leave it in the comments down below so that I can try to check your closets out or so that other people in the comments can check your closets out everything that's going to be listed on Poshmark I will show you in this video so that you guys can see it like in action I probably won't be able to try it on because it'll take me forever but I will show you guys everything that I decide to list on there if you guys are interested in me decluttering the mess that is behind <laughs> this door just keep watching so this is the mess that we are working with right now this is just post holiday madness us throwing our shoes all over the floor just hanging stuff wherever all of my shoes are just not organized my jeans are a hot mess everything is just super disorganized and i do need to get rid of some clothes and some shoes as well so yeah this is what it looks like before and it's just, it's insane in here. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the final look and I have to wait for Roger in order to declutter his side but this is my side and looks a lot better than before so yeah that box holds some new boots that I got eventually I'll take it out of there if I buy like other shoes and I need that space but for now I just left it there I do eventually want to buy like clear boxes for my boots so that I can see everything that's in there, but I'll do that sometime in the future. So yeah, organized all this, organized my jeans. I left a little area here because I have jeans on right now and I have like another pair as well that'll go in that section. I always put all of the stuff that I don't really wear that often up here so like my heavy coats puffer jacket rain jacket and just things that i don't really wear on the regular over here are things that i wear a little less than this section over here so that's how i have my closet organized this is like what i mostly gravitate towards these are my dresses and like jumpsuits and it's like color coordinated down here is the other jeans that i have skirts and stuff like that you can't really see it so there's not really a point in like showing as for my shoes i decluttered a lot of them i do have to kind of like move the little shelves up and down to accommodate everything that i have but i'm just waiting for uh, like spring to come before i do that because i'm probably going to make 
some like spring shoe purchases because I don't really have like that many sandals anymore. It's just like sneakers and then these are like heels and then these are flats and then I only have like a couple of sandals. So I do have some sandals down here, but these are more like just like slides and stuff. These are my sneakers. These are my bags. My shorts are in here. More bags and I stick my bags inside bigger bags. So I have more bags in there. My suitcase up there, filing stuff, bags, boxes of like gadgets that I can't get rid of. So that is what it looks like. And by the way, my entire system is from Ikea. And then over here are all of the shoes that I decluttered. I'm not gonna go through all of them because it's a lot, but I will be putting some of them not all because they are pretty used but i'll be putting some of them on a poshmark and you guys will see okay so this is my donate pile and this is my selling pile so i'm gonna sort through everything and see what i can donate and what i can sell and then i'll show you guys like what i end up uh, keeping in the sell pile Okay, so after like three hours, I'm finally done. And I have so many things that I think I'm gonna have to do two different posts on Poshmark. I'll load like half of the stuff first and then I'll load another half because otherwise I'll just go crazy. So the first thing is this blouse from Zara. I only wore it a couple of times and it's kind of that sheer, that heavy material that sits nicely on the body this is what that looks like next i have this hat and it's kind of like a felt hat which i got from free people a couple of years ago and i only wore it like a handful of times and it's actually a really cute hat i just never really wear it next is this crop from zara i got this last year and i have not worn it at all i have this kind of like ivory dress from grana it's shorter in the front than it is in the back and i haven't steamed it or anything but it looks like this it ties at the waist it is a size medium by the way everything else that i mentioned is a size medium next are these jeans from calvin klein high rise straight and they do have stretch to them so this is what the back looks like i have them cuffed but you can just take down the cuff if you want next i have this play suit from urban outfitters it's off the shoulder. It has little loops on the sides where you can put, you can tie it at the waist with these little strings that have like little tassels at the end. This one still has a tag on it. I've never worn this. It is another play suit and this one is from Zara and it has like the sheer dotted detail up here and the back looks like this. And this was also a medium. So was the play suit that I just showed. Next, I have this jumpsuit from ASOS. The legs are kind of like tapered. It has like a wrap detail in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's that very, very soft, stretchy, kind of like jersey material. Okay, this one I have had in my closet for a while. I've only worn this once and I absolutely love it, but I just have nowhere to wear it to. This one is kind of like missing a couple of beads, but I'm still gonna put it up on Poshmark because you can fix it very easily and you can't even tell. It has kind of like a high neck and it has like a sheer light pink fabric underneath, which makes it look like skin. The arms don't have anything underneath them. And this is a size US 6. It's very heavy too, like it feels luxurious. Next is this knit from Forever 21. It is a size medium and it's just a plain white or like off-white kind of like ivory color. Next is this top from Zara and it has like a, a bell sleeve sort of detail but not like an exaggerated bell sleeve. So I have this washed black cropped jean jacket from forever 21 it is a size medium it looks a little crazy right now with my blue jeans <laughs> but it runs i would say it runs a tiny bit small like i don't feel very restricted in it but my arms uh 
I don't know, I feel like the arms are a little short, but I do have very long arms and I am taller than the average girl. I'm 5'8", so if you are a little shorter, I think that this would be super cute. Next is this cardigan from Lou and Gray. It's a size medium. It looks like this. This is super, super comfy. It has like a waterfall detail in the front. Next, I have these Madewell jeans and these are their high riser skinny jeans. And these are a size 27. Uh, I'm usually a size 28 all across the board, which is a US 6. And for some reason, Madewell, I think, runs a little big. That's why I always get a size 27 in them. Next, I have these shorts, which would have been super cute for like New Year's Eve, but I don't know. You guys, you guys can figure out a way to style them. They have pockets and they're high-waisted. And these are a size large because the boutique that I got them from runs a little small but i'm usually a size medium again so these fit next is this blouse that still has uh the tag on it it's a size 10 australian i think this is from misguided i have never worn this the front looks like this it has like a little flap detail and the back looks like this finally i have another crop top also from misguided also an australian size 10 which is a us size 6 and this one just looks like this. You can't really see it when I put it on me, so. It's like a mock neck kind of thing. And it's a little shorter in the front than it is in the back. So it's like, gives that like slouchy feel. Starting over here, these are made well, kind of like lace up leather shoes. And I'm pretty sure both of them are not real leather. I don't even remember. I think I got these on Urban Outfitters a very long time ago, but they're in very good condition. So I'm just gonna put them up. I think they're so cool the bottom isn't even that dirty so they haven't been worn that much next are these again i'll put the exact description and sizes and everything in poshmark but they are pretty new as well they just have a little bit of like marking on the bottom which can probably be cleaned and the bottoms look like this so they're not really that worn either they have like a suede detail on the back this is what the bottom of these looks like these are pretty old from zara as well but i think i only wore them like once this is what the bottom looks like and the tops look pretty new these boots i'm not sure if i'm going to put them up yet because they are pretty worn <laughs> So these are from Sam Edelman and this is what the bottom looks like. It has a little scuff on the heel right there which you can probably take like a wooden marker and hide that. The backs look like this. I don't really put anything up that's like super worn but we'll see. Next are these leather espadrilles right here. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to put these up either because they are pretty worn in. They lace up at the ankles they have pretty long laces and the bottoms look like this so yeah they're pretty worn in i might not put these up we shall see let me know if you guys would be interested in them in the comments down below and i will list them but i'm just showing you guys everything it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm going to list every single thing here i just want to give like a run through of the ones that i filtered out from the very 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 worn ones and then we have these which are from zara they're just like this light leather material and the bottoms of these look like this and these are a size 40 which i'm a size 40 in zara and like almost every shoe so that's like a nine so yeah again not sure if i'm gonna list these let me know in the comments below and finally we have these which are like brand new i only wore them once they're from zara as well and they're the gladiators that go up to like your knees <laughs> so yeah the tops are in very very good condition and then the bottoms are not that great but again just let me know if you guys would be interested in this and then i'll just put it up so yeah i'm not sure exactly which ones i'm going to list i just wanted to show you guys all of them just in case so yeah that is everything for this video finally i've been doing this for the past like three and a half hours i'm so tired so i'll put the download link to poshmark in the description down below as well as my closet let me know about the shoes like which ones i should list or not and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video